Nagarasan Kotai. It's been situated near Sivayunga district of Tamil Nadu, India, well placed in between the highways of Sivayunga to Thuti. Here, the temple, what we are going to see, has been the well-known one, that is, Gadasri Kanudi Anoyugiamman, or otherwise, colloquially called as Sri Kanuthal. There has been the legend that, how far, the temple of goddess Sri Kanudi Anoyugiamman has been raised. Very small village, named as Perndakulam, but, has been documented as Therndakulam, in Siddhaganga municipality, lies very near to Nottaris and Kotai. On those days, the people belonged to Yathuva community, had to sell their mill products, like milk, buttermilk, and ghee, to Nottaris and Kotai, by passing through this small village. One of those milk vendors had experienced a strange phenomenon that he had been often obstructed by a stone and by which his milk pot had drenched that stone. He, one day, wanted to unearth the stone with the help of a long digging iron bar. When having done so, he found bleeding came out from that stone. He became very frightened enough to run to his village and conveyed this incident to everybody. Once, all the people had rushed to the spot where that strange phenomenon had often taken place. From the gathering, one person, who had been transfixed, and told everybody that it had been only heard due to unleash the divine power from that spot. That great divine power had been transformed, as in the name of Sri Kanudi Anoyagiyamman, and the temple had been built for her, at Nadaris and Kotai. There had been one Tamil poet, named as Mithuanayagam Pillai, who was the author of Kanudi Anoyugiyamman, Palu. Before, having written this divine poetry, he who had lived in Thirunelweli was seriously suffering from both stomach ache and acute chest pain. On those days, only by walk, he had reached Thirukosiyur which has been one of the 108 Divya Desams of Lord Vishnu, situated very near to Thuruprathur. When he was sleeping near the temple car, on that night, he had been gifted with the book Rest, which has been called as Thali Gai in Tamil language, by Lord Vishnu, who has enshrined there, as in the name of Somiya Narayana Purumal, had told the Tamil poet, that he could reach to Nottaris and Kotai, and if he would have written poetry about goddess Kanudi and Oyugiyamman, he could have been retrieved from his long-term acute diseases. The Tamil poet, on having obeyed the order of Lord Vishnu, reached Nottaris and Kotai, and had stayed there in the temple, and also completed the poetry, named as Kanudi and Oyugiyamman, Palu. That poet also had cured from the his long-term acute diseases.
Lukani Sithar, one among the 18 Sithars, has said to have been remained, as in the Jiva Samathi, under the tank of the Holy Theoretum. Sithars have got the divine power of us Tamas Sithis, by which, they could able to remain in Jiva Samathi, wherever they wish. There has been no restriction of boundary, of time and distance, for Sithars. He, in his Tamilhim, had described the beauty of goddess Kanudi Anoyagiyamun, by having assumed her, as his holy mother.